Nexius, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same. Well, here I am. Though I'm more curious about how you are here. The gods let you in? I only had to tell them how close we are, and they let me come see you. Ah, then you used what you learned from me. I'm impressed. My words cut very, very deep. Your care is appreciated, but if you had waited only a bit longer, I'm sure my trial would have taken place and I'd be free. You're not going to trial. We're getting you out of here. I understand your concern, but what good would escaping do other than prove I'm guilty? No. In fact, I'm looking forward to this trial. You would go to trial just to prove you can convince them of your innocence? Exactly! You have your ways to find excitement, and I have mine. What were you arrested for? I haven't the slightest idea. And that doesn't bother you? Sometimes understanding does not come at the moment we would like. More importantly, this is giving me the necessary time to think. About... I went to see the Pythia. And she told me there is none wiser than me. An intriguing thought, and one I've been unable to stop thinking about. Socrates, the Pythia is... It matters not what you believe she is or she isn't. I must examine not only her words, but my own self as well. I know nothing, so how could I be called wise? What does that have to do with being locked up? I believe my time here and this trial may help me find the answer. I will be fine. Trust me. Were you doing anything when you got arrested? If speaking my mind is worth imprisonment, then I suppose I was. In the future, you may want to be more careful. You risk life and limb every time you draw your blade. Just because it's my tongue that is sharp, doesn't mean I'm not prepared to face the consequences of using it. I've known you for a while now. That's true. And you'd call us friends? I would. And friends share important things with one another. Is that so? It is. Then how did I not know you were married? I, uh... From what you just said, that means either we're not friends, or that friends don't share with one another. So, which is it? <laughs> I've wondered how much of our conversation you've taken to heart. And now, I have my answer. Since you won't leave with me, I'll go see the Pythia myself. That's not necessary. I'll find out why she told you that. I won't let you go to trial, even if you think you'll be found innocent. Ah, Alexios, you! I'll come back when I have what I need. Watch will be vigilant here.
hearts go away. Tell you what, you have to scare it away. If you roar like a lion, it'll run. <laughs> Good job. Now run along home. You must be a physician. Yes, I'm Lycaon. You must be a Mystheus. Are you here for treatment? Play acting instead of medicine. When I'm wounded, I prefer to see someone serious. The gods and the medicines they give us can do little when a patient has no hope. That's the best treatment I can give. You've thought this through. You look strong and prepared for anything. My patients need mandrake herbs. There's a part of them growing by a little stream southeast of here. Are you too busy to pick them? Too chewy. A pack of wolves is resting near the stream. I'll pay you generously for your trouble. You know how to talk to Amistheus. Is that all you want? The mandrake herbs? For now. Bring them back to me, and I'll pack at them for my patients. Then we'll see. I'll bring you the herbs. You said they were southeast of here? Yes. By a little stream northeast of Kira. The flowers haven't bloomed yet, but the leaves are a distinctive grey-green. Thank you. said the herbs would be near a little stream. That looks like it. These must be the herbs Likaon wanted. These should be enough mandrake herbs. Time to go back to the physician. Found your herbs. Thank you. I'll prepare these for my patients. Could you please stay a while? I'll wait. I've crossed the herbs so they'll be easier to take. Could you please bring them to my patients? Just tell them they're for me, Likaon. I thought I brought you more herbs than this. I needed to save a double dose for my grandmother. I'll give it to her soon. Sure. I'll just deliver the rest then. Thank you. All my patients are in and around the Hora of Delphi. One should be at the animal pens to the west. One is building a house in the northeastern corner. And uh, one works in the fields to the south. Come back here when you're done. I'm sure I can find them. <laughs> Likaon sends his regards. The medicine he promised. Thank you. Tell me, did he look well? He didn't look sick to me. I've seen him up and walking around at all hours mumbling to himself. He seems worried. I should bring him some sweets to cheer him up. I'm sure he'd appreciate that.
I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. Get it. These herbs are from Likaon. Oh, thank you. That physician is so thoughtful and so handsome. It's too bad he's decided not to marry. Why not? He just told me some nonsense about not wanting to burden an innocent woman with his worries. Personally, I just wish he'd been honest and said I'm not his type. Huh. I wonder why he'd say that. Likaon made this medicine for you. Thanks. See, I take care of these beasts, and Likaon takes care of me. Too bad nobody takes care of him, though. What do you mean? His parents died young. His grandmother raised him, but then... she was born under a cursed star. Never mind that. He's a good boy. I'm sure he is. I delivered all your medicine. Seems you have a lot of people concerned for your well-being. Thanks. Um, my grandmother, Praxithea, I have to bring her the last of the medicine. Will you come along with me to her house? I think I need your help. Yes. I'd like to know what's going on here. Oh, thank you. Please, my grandmother's house is this way. <laughs> 